Section 3-4, using equations to solve problems. You can use equations to solve problems, everybody. I do. Do you like my green helmet? Bye. What's the objective in Section 3-4? Well, let's see. The objective is simply to use the five-step plan. We're back to the five-step plan again to solve word problems. Five steps say, read carefully. Find the knowns, the unknowns, and this, of course, is very important. Draw a picture. Just do it up, man. Draw a picture. Get something in your brain, get in your mind. You want to be able to see what's happening. Okay? Step two, choose a variable. So assign the variable. Say X is going to be something. Three, reread and write an equation. So read it again. Once you chose a variable, read it again. It's okay. You have time. Read it. Write the equation. Then solve for the unknown. Solve for X, right? You want to find what X is and then plug it in for the other unknowns. And finally, double, go back and do a final check with the words. All right? I'm going to do, um, how many do I have here? Two problems with you. Three. Three problems. So here we go. Do the five-step plan. The longest side of a triangle is twice as long as the shortest side, and the remaining side is 25 centimeters. If the perimeter is 70 centimeters, find the length of the sides. All right, there's a lot going on here, but I know that there's a triangle, so I'm going to draw one. I don't know. Now, let's read it again. The longest side, well, in my picture, this happens to be the longest side. doesn't matter how you situate it. Is twice as long as the shortest side. So, this guy's twice as long. I'm going to call this guy 2x. And this guy, so this is twice, whatever this guy is, this guy is two times it, twice as long. Shortest side. And the remaining side is 25. Okay. If the perimeter, peri, right? Peri means around, meter, measure around, is 70 centimeters, find the length of the sides. Well, perimeter is just when you walk, how far you walk when you walk all the way around this triangle. So I'd have to walk x, then 2x, then 25. So let's see. Did I, did I do the five-step plan? I read it carefully. Did I choose my variable? Yes, X, and I labeled it. X will be the shortest side. I showed it, okay? I reread it, and now I'm writing an equation, right? So here it is. I know that X, I'm walking, oh, 2X, I'm still walking, and 25 is going to equal that total 70. And it's asking me to find what? The length of the sides. Not just one side, all the sides. Oh, so let's see, x plus 2x, well, if I had 1x and I had 2 more, I end up with 3x's plus 25 is 70. Now I'm going to undo addition by subtracting. Get my 3x is equal to 70, down 20 would be 50, down 5 more would be 45, so x would be 15. Does that answer my question? No. I've solved for x, but I have to go back and plug it in. I want to find the length of the sides. So I have this guy, x is going to be 15, it's one length, 2x, I have the two 15s, 30, and 25. If I put them in order, it would be 15, 25, and 30. Those are my three sides of the triangle. I found the lengths of the sides. Here they are, 15, 25, and 30. Now, I'm going to do one more final check. If the okay, I have it, let's see. Twice as long as this, yeah. Longest is twice as long as the shortest. Remaining, do they all add up to 70, 30, uh, 40, 55, 60, 70? Yes. Sweet. Let's try another one. All right. Here we got another one. In triangle ABC, all right? Angle A is three times as large as angle B and also 16 degrees larger than angle C. Find the measures. Well, they gave us A, B, C. They gave us some points on this. So let's just draw a triangle, all right? Let's put it, I don't know, A, B, C. Call this A, this B, and this C. I don't know really what's going on here. Um, in triangle A, B, C, A, angle A is three times as large as angle B. Angle A is bigger than 16 greater than angle C. Hmm, in ABC, angle A is three times as large as angle B. So, angle A is three times as large as angle B. And it's also 16 larger than angle C. Well, I don't even know what this is. Find the measure of each angle. Wait, I feel like I'm missing some information here. 
Well, what do I know? Um, let me think. Well, I know that all three of them have to add up to 180, right? Hmm. And I know this guy is 3 axis. Angle B is 16 larger. Oh, oh, angle. Oh, this guy is 16 degrees larger than whatever this is. Okay. All right, cool. So 3x is 16 larger than that. I'm going to call this guy M for now. And I know that 3x is 16 degrees larger than M. Right? So that means M must be 16 degrees less than 3x, right? So this is really a tricky problem. Wow, I'm getting tricked up here. So I know this guy is 3x minus 16. So I've, cho I've read it. I've chosen the variable. These are tough problems. But I'm, well, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I forgot to add, tell you. Oh, if you've taken geometry stuff, you know that the interior angles of any triangle sum is 360. So I can add these three. I'm uh, not 360. Uh, 180. Um, I can add these three guys up, and it should equal 180. So let's do it. 3x plus x plus 3x minus 16 should equal 180. Let's do some algebra. I get my 6x plus x minus 16. Why didn't I just make it 7x from the beginning? I don't know. Add 16 to both sides. Plus 16. And I end up with 7x. I'm going to bring this over there. Is equal to 196. Divide both sides by 7. Oh, man, how many times does 7 go into 196? Well, I know it goes into there twice. And I get 56, 28. So x equals 28. Am I done? No, I'm not done. All right? I'm not done. Because it's asking me to find the measure of each angle. All of them. So I know that x is 28. All I know is this guy's 28. What about the rest of them? I have to go back and make sure this works. This guy's 3 times 28. Right? This guy's 84. And this guy's 16 less than 84, isn't he? Right? Oh, my God. I do 84 minus 16. Look at all this math I'm doing. Ah. This guy's 68. Let's double check. They should all add up to 180, right? So here's my, uh, let's double check, 84, 28, and 68. Should add up to 180. Let's find 8 and 8 is 16, and 4 is 20. I get 10 here and 8. Ended up working out. So here they are, 28, 68, 84. That was tricky finding that last angle. All right. And finally, we have about one minute and a half to follow. To do this one, this is going to be tough. All right, 50 Cent took three exams. He scored 10 points higher on his second exam than he did on his first. He scored a 92 on his third exam. If his average was a 94, what was the score on exam two? Well, let's see. He had one exam one, exam two, and exam three. Okay, let's see. Let's see how he did. Um, he scored 10 points higher on his second exam than he did on his first. So I can call his first X. This one, x plus 10. And his, he scored a 92 on his third. His average was a 94. How do you find the average? Well, you add them all up and divide by 3. So I'm going to add these up, divide by 3, and I should get 94. x plus x plus 10 plus 92 over 3 should be 94. Well, I'm going to undo divided by 3 by multiplying by 3 on both sides. Undoes that, right? So I get x plus x, 2x plus 102 equals 94 times 3, which is, oh man, 12, 18, 192. Okay? And then I'm almost done. Are you ready? Are you ready? Um, 102, subtract from both sides. Let me see how much time do I have left. Oh my goodness, I have like 15 seconds. 102, back, subtract from both sides, I get 2x equals 192 minus 102 is 90, right? No, what is that? That should be 192. 9 times 3 is 27, 28. Oh my God, 282. 282 minus 102 is 180. So x equals 90. So I get 90 and a 100. Good job, 50 cents.